but they brought out the Christmas cart. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, so my total was 41.44. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm just leaving the Goodwill outlet and I went back in after I loaded my car because they said they were bringing Christmas and you guys, my phone is dead. So I'm standing in the parking lot and I'm gonna, I just plugged into my car and I'm gonna show you what I just found, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm getting the low battery warning. So I gotta show you this. Um, there was a whole box of all this amazing stuff. Um, so much of it was broken. I was, I was just so sad. Here's another precious moments. I don't know if it's anything good, but um, all this Disney stuff. Oh my goodness. Um, I got this Lincoln Log set. Um, and here, there's the shoes. I had to get a pair of shoes to complete my challenge. Look at this. This is. Um, Goble, I don't know how to say it, but it's a snowman. I don't want to break anything. I got a Christmas tree ornament. These guys, I think these say Disney Store. There's like four of them. The princesses. This is Dungeons and Dragons, so I just grabbed it. I couldn't look anything up, so I was kind of flying with like no idea if anything was good. That's like a nativity, interactive, friendly nativity. So they hardly ever have glass. Um, this is Lennox. It's a snowman. Um, this guy is a Nutcracker. I just thought he was super cool. It says Nutcracker Village 2003. Um, probably some stuff I should have taken out of my cart, but I didn't. This is um, a ceramic tree and it's got the old lights. These are adorable. There's two of them. They've got the original tag. I'm hoping there's something collectible. Um, I don't know. I, I don't even know what all I have. There's some Minecraft game that might be a dud. This one says Japan, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It's another, it might go with that other one. Um, right here, this is always uh, Misfit Friends. This is a Mr. Potato Head and he has on Spider-Man, so I thought that was cool. I found some of these old flocked um, things here. All right, we got, I don't know what this says. Hinton. I think it says Noel. Hopefully I have all the pieces. Again, I was just throwing stuff from this box in my cart because ah, most of the stuff was pretty incredible. Uh, there's the E. So this right here is another one of the Gobel or however you say it, but look at this, you guys. I still bought it. I think I can glue the head on. It's an ornament and it's Lennox Disney. I don't know if it's anything good or not, but how sad is that? It's like a teacup ornament. It's incredible. Um, this might be a womp womp, but um, I got it anyway. And I kind of forgot it was in my cart. But uh, there are these tapes and sometimes these tapes can do okay. I liked the case, but what I saw was Disney. Disney, Disney, and if they've got the tapes that go with them, they might do well. I don't know, but look how cute this case is. It's kind of in bad shape. So anyway, that's what I ended up going back in for. Just incredible. I don't even know what to, to think right now. I haven't looked anything up. Um, I just bought it, hoping for the best because I couldn't search comps. Okay, these were hiding. I also got this. Um, and then there's the shoes. I think I got a little bit of footage of that. I found this train. There was something else in here that I just threw in that I didn't think I showed you guys. I don't know what this is. That was probably a mistake. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, it was this Lion King plate and bowl. I don't know if it's any good or not, so we'll see. Packing up my bags and I keep uncovering things. Okay, so I saw this and I always grab clocks and stuff like this because my husband, he likes this type of stuff. And then I looked and it says Brighton. So I don't know if that's anything good or not. Too bad it doesn't say 925. So we'll see. I don't, Brighton I think can be faked. So I'll have to do some research. Okay, I found two more things that were wrapped. I found this, which is like a beautiful, um, 
looks like an apple. Donatella Bottolino auctioned one of those off on her uh, YouTube auction. It was much bigger and different, but still cool. 1986, another bell. All right, I think that's everything, guys. The total of this was $41.44. She gave me a 20% uh, discount because some of the items were heavy. All right, you guys, so I'm parting out this Prairie Express um, Lincoln Log set that I got at the Goodwill Bins. And I just felt like I could make more money parting it out. So that's what I'm going to do. You guys know I like to do that. And I'll show you how I did all of that. But let me show you what happened. I just opened up a bag that had all of these pieces in it. And I noticed this piece. And I had already created my track listing. And this is obviously a track piece. So I'm going to show you how I fixed my listing. And... Let me show you what I did here. I used photo room to make sure that this was included in my photos. Check this out. Okay, Bola buddies, I am gonna show you another way I use photo room, which you guys are gonna love this. And then after that, I'm gonna talk to you more about this Lincoln log set and how I parted it out. All right, so I did the track and you can see right here, here's my track picture. Well, as I was going through another bag, I found another piece of track and I had already put this away and I was like, shucks. So what I did is I took a picture of the piece of track that I found and I shrunk it down and I added it into the picture and saved this as my main picture. That way I didn't have to lay everything out again and I just saved it to my photos and this is now my cover shot. So once I've got the photo saved, I'm gonna go back into my eBay listing and I am going to correct it, which is what you're gonna see right now. I'm gonna click on the photos, I'm gonna hit add, I'm gonna click on that, and then I am just gonna move that up as my main photo so that everybody can see that that is a part of the lot. I also added that additional piece in the photos because you don't see it in the other photos. And I am gonna crop it down since I did not white out the background. So I need to format it to fit the eBay uh, photos and then I'm gonna save it. So this is a great way if you make a mistake to fix it with Photo Room. But um, haven't decided how I'm gonna part this out. I've got the Lincoln Logs up. There were 73 uh, as a part of the set. That's what was there. There was actually some extra track pieces. So I just disclosed it in the title. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I use Photo Room to white out the background. And I love how it shrinks it down to fit the eBay format. It makes it into a perfect square by hitting the word or the box that says eBay. So definitely do that right there, hit the eBay and that will change the format settings and um, really make it fit that box. 10% off your first uh, yearly subscription of Photo Room with referral link down in the description. Okay, just to mention, um, these are the horses and I know that I find things like this that have the hole in the bottom and I can never figure out what they are like Google Lens sometimes doesn't pick them up. So if you see this hollow hole in the bottom, a good place to start your search, if you can't find it on Google Lens, is um, Lincoln Logs. Try searching that, like Lincoln Logs horse, and see if you can find a match that way. All right, this sold really quick. I took a best offer of $12 on the little train. I've also listed the conductor separately. I listed the cowboys separately. I then put the three horses together as a lot and all of the other miscellaneous plastic pieces I listed together. I did the Lincoln logs separately and I also did the track separately. So that is how I parted this out. I do have best offer on all of these items. Definitely parting things out gives you an advantage to make more money for your item. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.